Leading Ladies, a Zambian podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption in our past has been, women have not played a role in religious leadership. In reality, some women have been major players in the religious landscape of Zambia. Meet Alice Mulenga Lenshina, the religious protester. Alice Mulenga Lenshina was born in 1920. She lived in a village called Kasomo, about five miles from Chinsali, in present Muchinga province of Zambia. Alice was a baptized member of the Church of Scotland in her adult years. She grew up practicing the traditional religion of her ethnic group, the Bemba people, who placed much of the leadership in religious and spiritual matters in the hands of women. She became very ill with cerebral malaria in September 1953 and fell into a deep coma. On regaining consciousness, she told people that during her coma, she met a divine presence, some say Jesus Christ, who gave her the task of spreading a special message of love. She started spreading her message and gradually her teachings evolved into an independent church called the Lumpa Church in 1955. A grand temple was built at Zion, the name given to her home village in 1958. Her message stressed the sanctity of marriage, opposed polygamy, witchcraft, the role of politics and government, and promoted the upliftment of the common people, especially women. Underpinning Lenshina's message was a fight for the return of the leadership role of women in religious life. The new church became serious competition for souls for the Roman Catholic Church and the Church of Scotland. Both churches relegated women to mere recipients of religious communion, ignoring their traditional leadership role as high priestesses of the Bemba practice of domestic religion. The Lumpa Church was so successful that by the late 1950s, it may have had up to 150,000 members in the northern and eastern provinces of northern Rhodesia and was rapidly emptying out the pews of mainstream churches. On the other hand, the Lumpa Church's popularity began to be seen as a political threat by the colonial northern Rhodesia government because of her anti-government stance. Unintentionally, Alice Mulenga Lenshina earned the enmity of two powerful forces, the government and the mainstream churches. In 1958, the militant United National Independence Party, UNIP, was formed, and there arose a competition for members between the new church and the new party. The Lumpa leaders ordered their members to establish separate villages by moving out of villages where they lived alongside UNIP's members. The conflict between UNIP and the Lumpa Church reached a climax in July to October in 1964, just before Northern Rhodesia's independence. On July 24, 1964, a gun battle broke out between UNIP and the Lumpa Church members. The resulting riots were only quelled by the intervention of state troops and the proclamation of a state of emergency by the new pre-independence Prime Minister Kenneth Kaunda. About a thousand people died in the clashes between the Lumpa Church adherents, UNIP's members and the security forces. Approximately 15,000 Lumpa Church members fled and took refuge in Congo. Some of them never returned to Zambia. The Lumpa Church was banned on 3rd August 1964 and Alice Mulenga Lenshina surrendered herself to police a few days later. Alice Mulenga Lenshina never faced a trial but was detained for 11 years by government. In August 1964, the government detained her in Mumba district. Her husband, Petros Chintankwa, was detained with her. In 1965, they were moved to Kalawa district near the Angolan border, but they escaped in October 1967. They were caught, jailed for six months, and restricted in Mkushi district. In May 1970, the government placed her in detention and ordered the destruction of her beautiful Kamutola church in her home village of Kasomo. Alice Mulenga Lenshina was released from detention in December 1975, but was put under house arrest in New Chilenje compound Nkunda Road in Lusaka. Alice Lenshina herself played no significant role in the Lumpa Church's political activities. 
She regretted the fact that the political actions weakened the spiritual impact of her message, which was about love, the poor, and the position of women in the religious life of a society. The Lumpa Church continues to exist to this day, though it is split and called by various names around the country. She died on 7th December 1978 while under house arrest and was eventually buried at Kasoma village where the Kamutola church stood. Women have led religious movements in Zambia.